The pad production process involves the parallel development of mixes used in preparing friction materials and metal backing plates. This begins with the preparation of mixtures of various components. Between 20 and 30 components are used to make one pad and these components are chosen from a range of over 100 different materials. These components each play a specific role in the friction material to which they are added. There are, for example, binding materials or resins that hold the various components together. Abrasives like oxides of aluminium or silicon that serve to generate friction. Lubricants like graphite and sulphurs that limit wear by generating a protective layer between pads and discs. Metals like iron and copper that help heat dissipation. At the same time, the metal backing plates are cut into their final shape. Following this, the back plates are sandblasted and degreased to ensure that the adhesive sets properly. Once the adhesive has been applied to the backing plates, a dust-free compound is applied that forms the substrate as well as the mix that goes to form the friction material. The whole unit is then placed in an oven for the next stage of pressing, during which adjustments to the heat allows the pads to become solid and reach the required mechanical and friction characteristics. Once removed from the oven, the areas where the pads will come into contact with the discs are machined to ensure even mating and thus reduce bedding in times. Again, in this stage, any parts needing rounding off or trimming are dealt with so as to optimise performance and comfort. Following this, the pads are completely rust-proofed except for the area that comes into direct contact with the discs. The next stage sees the fitting of anti-noise shims, wear indicators and the fitting of any springs to the calipers. The final stage sees the calipers being given their ID marks, manufacturer's name, R90 homologation number and other data relating to traceability.